away from the markets and back to earnings. And we have P. Rajendran, Joint Managing Director and Co-Founder at NIIT Limited, joining us. Sir, thank you very much for joining us on NDTV Profit. I trust you can hear me clearly this afternoon. Uh, we always tend to have uh, absolutely, uh, you know, audio issues in the rainy season. So this is Manvi here in the Delhi studio. I um, wanted to talk about how the first uh, quarter has actually gone down for you. I know in broad terms this stands out uh, because, you know, um, you've got what double-digit revenue growth after a long lull, but what are the highlights in Q1? <coughs> yeah, you said it right. I mean, after four years to get double-digit growth only sets the whole organization believing that this is possible and to take it forward. So if you look at last uh, quarter, uh, <clears throat> it's 260.4 uh, crores or 2,604 million, which is a 12% year on year. And this is compar comparable, can be compared with a 4%, 5%, 6%, 7% growth uh, <clears throat> in the last four quarters of FY16. So it's, um, it's in a steady growth stage. Uh, the corporate learning group has uh, has given a steady growth, and there is acceleration in the skills and uh, career business. Okay. So skills and career business so I'm is just going uh, what NIT has been known for. Yes, I'm just going to interrupt there for a moment because I do want to talk in greater detail about CLG, which is the corporate learning group and skills and career group separately. But in a sense, uh, mm -hmm. full effects of your sort of restructuring vision. Uh, now established. I'm trying to get a sense of are we seeing it all way in now and, uh, you know, yeah. it, uh, it in a sense limits the room for upside going forward? Yeah, so that's a good question. So uh, one of the first things we, well, uh, we took on last year was the restructuring part. Restructuring, you get the benefit more from cost, not so much from expansion. So if we moved, we completed the restructuring and then moved on to renewal, uh, re-energizing re and renewal. So we are in the expansion growth uh, uh, step, and what we expect is on the skills and career, there is expansion, and on the CLG business, which is a long time cycle for <coughs> sales, we are going to be rock steady, uh, and we will continue to have the 15% growth and the 12% uh, margin, which we have talked about for this year. Okay. You know, where which could move at a faster clip? Uh, is it the traditional skills and career group uh, where we're likely to see, uh, you know, higher growth rates, or is it the corporate learning group? Because the adjectives you're using to describe suggest corporate learning group is going to grow at a relatively more steady clip. Yeah. So, uh, uh, though we call this as the traditional uh, skills and career business of NIIT, that part has completely transformed. Uh, thanks to the new technologies, thanks to the digital part, thanks to the uh, different delivery modes which we have been using, it's no longer uh, the kind of uh, <coughs> prices and the kind of courses which we have been offering in the past. So in CLG, <coughs> uh, that is facing the enterprises, typically outside the country, and there uh, our uh, we had brought it up to a particular, uh, like I said, 15% growth level, it's important that we continue to keep it there. Whereas on the uh, skills and career group, we are coming from uh, a low, and like I said, two-digit uh, two uh, growth uh, <clears throat> this quarter. There, there is headroom uh, in terms of acceleration of the business. So there, uh, NIT has been completely focusing on changing the programs, uh, <clears throat> moving into the whole digital experience for the students, moving into uh, the entirely new technologies. So we have introduced new programs uh, last year, which it is possible that the individuals may come, but it, it is also uh, being bought by the enterprises in India because the enterprises have a huge challenge of retraining and reskilling uh, their <clears throat> large uh, body of programmers and technical staff into the new technologies. So. <clears throat> I believe, just to uh, short answer your question, the acceleration would be more in the skills and career business in India. 
Fair enough. The other piece which seems to be picking up quite smartly in recent months is, you know, just the online delivery of courses. And I was reading, um, if my memory serves me right, in June about, you know, I am Ahmedabad, for example, your partnership with them. And, the, you know, there have been various such other partnerships for distance learning online. Uh, is that an interesting new piece? Yeah, so uh, this piece has been with us, uh, the IM, uh, bank, uh, IM courses, that kind of work has been with us for the last many years. I think it is now coming to a new context where people have <clears throat> the smartphones at, uh, in their hands, they can work from home, they can attend the programs from home. So we see that as an expansion of the synchronous learning technology space to create new products and new possibilities. On the online, you know that uh, <clears throat> we had launched the NIT.TV, uh, which is a free online connect program where there is more than about uh, half a million uh, people who are registered. Uh, there's no revenue out of that, but that creates a lot of footfalls onto our portal. This is going to be uh, supplemented by uh, our training.com, which is really where we have the online commercial programs uh, coming up. On the other side, one thing I uh, left on the uh, left mentioning was the DG Next program. Right. Uh, so we are all uh, everybody knows about the GNIT program in the past. Yes. That is completely transforming uh, for the digital side. This is a DG Next program. There is overlap between the DG Next and the Stack Route, but we expect DG Next program to bring in a lot of bright individuals back into NIT to uh, experience this, which may not be available at most of the places. Well, always a pleasure to have you here on NDTV Profit. Mr. Rajendran, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. And um, all the very best, uh, particularly for the quarters ahead. We're going to take a very quick break. Uh, we'll be back.